All right, my revivers. So right here, you have some of the items that I like to use when I'm pampering myself. And these are some suggestions you can use as well. So I have a turby twist for my hair to pull my hair out the way, which you know I don't have any. But I still use it when my hair is wet. I have my robe. I have my back brush, my face mask i also have a beautiful smelling candle that i got from burlington a while ago some bath bombs from the dollar tree some books of choice that i love to read and i also have my journal my towel for when i get out of the tub a caddy that i got for three dollars and 34 cents at aldi's and a lighter to light my candle so let's set the mood and show you what i do to pamper myself First things first is picking your area. You can pamper yourself in your room. You can pamper yourself in your living room. It doesn't always have to incorporate water. It's just setting the mood for mental and body relaxation. And I love to do it in the tub. I haven't done this in a while. And I said, you know what? Let me record this. So this is my bathroom. It's not huge. But the thing is not the size. It's more of what I do to create the mood to get my body and mind relaxed. So let's get it started. I always start off by running some water and I like my water to be very hot because the longer you sit in it, it gets cold and I don't like to sit in cold water. There's the caddy from Aldi's and then I'm going to light my tea lights. These are so amazing for setting the mood. It's $3.97 for 100 of these and each one burns for about four to five hours. You can't beat that. So guys, keep that in mind when it comes to emergencies and stuff like that as well. I threw the bath bomb in first time using it. It didn't fizz as much, but it wasn't so bad. It was only three for a dollar. I mean, what can you ask for? So there you see the tea lights lit and then I'm going to light my soy candle and I put that on the caddy because I want that one closer to me because I want to be able to smell the fragrance from it. Then I also have another candle that I forgot to show you in the beginning that I got from Burlington as well and it is a great smelling candle. I love the smell of it. Now we're going to move back over to the caddy. Now I have a little tripod for my phone because I decided I'm not going to read. I'm going to enjoy watching some Netflix and I have my strawberry sparkle teeny and I'm pouring me a glass of that in a chill glass that I rinsed out and put in the freezer so that it'll keep my wine cold so that's the ambient look i don't have to have a jacuzzi you can do this in your regular bathtub so now here's the overview of what i did to create my ambient relaxing space in my bathroom so now it is time for me to get this face done so now what i'm going to do is exfoliate my face and this is the face wash I use all the time. I use a peppermint soap. I also have a black soap that is one of my creations that I use. So in between, I just fluctuate between the two. Um, but when I exfoliate, I usually use either one, but I just love that refreshing peppermint smell. Um, and I'm in the process of trying to create one with my black soap with peppermint as well. So be looking out for that and stay tuned for that as well. But all I'm doing is exfoliating my neck and my face guys do not forget the neck the neck has dead skin that sheds and you want to remove that as well or you'll look too toned your neck will be darker than your face why because you're not giving attention to the neck and exfoliating so after i clean my face i always take fresh clean paper towel i don't dry my face with a rag or a towel i like to use clean paper towel to dry pat dry my face before i put anything on it, whether it be moisturizer or my face mask. So right now I'm pat drying my face. And then after that, I'm going to apply this apple cider vinegar mask that actually was really amazing. My daughter's like, mom, you gotta try it, you gotta try it. She got that from Ulta with her Ulta gift card. And it was pretty cool. It didn't um, get really, really tight like some of the masks do. It tingled just a touch, but it was a really refreshing feeling and it does a lot of different things. So I was really, loving this mask so after i put the mask on it is time for me to start my moment of relaxing in my nice hot bath because now my mask has been completely applied to my face ladies so let's go jump in so now guys that's it a frugal way 
of pampering yourself and relaxing your mind and your body. I'm going to sip on my sparkle teeny, continue watching Greenleaf on Netflix, and just relax. Ladies, I cannot find my pillow. I have a pillow for the tub and I have no clue where it was. So I kind of laid back on a hot rag. But after I watched a couple episodes, I just closed my eyes and meditated about this week to come and what my plans were and what I'm going to do. I hope you guys enjoy. Later, Gators. All right, guys, this is where your girl is on social media. I also have another channel. If you are new to this channel, the link is in the description box. It is the CPR Vibe channel. Lots of great inspiration and motivation over there. But before you head over, check out these videos.